we are powerful, we are worthy, and that when we stand together, when we are united in our power, we are unstoppable. You've probably seen Sarah McBride's face recently. She's an activist, a transgender woman, and the national spokeswoman for the human rights campaign. Will we be a nation where there's only one way to love, only one way to look, and only one way to live? One of the most public and well-funded organizations fighting for LGBTQ plus rights. HRC has gone from having a clear and outspoken ally in the Oval Office in President Obama to an administration whose promises... I will do everything in my power to protect our LGBTQ citizens are often less reliable. The federal government said it will take back a directive issued just last May that told public schools to let children use bathrooms that match their gender identity. President Trump's surprise win has put HRC in a defensive position it wasn't really anticipating. We can still move forward, regardless of whether we are, are defying and resisting and rising up against harmful and discriminatory actions in state legislatures or from the White House. Uh, and that's what we will continue to do. We'll continue uh, to, to put our all into moving equality forward while defending our progress. HRC and groups like them look like they'll stay pretty busy this year. McBride says more than 100 anti-LGBTQ plus bills have been introduced in about 30 states in the U.S. Senate Bill 6, also known as the Texas Bathroom Bill. McBride's hopeful the public's rising support for LGBTQ plus rights and work from groups like HRC will make bills like that harder, if not impossible, to pass. It's difficult to hate someone whose story you know. Mm -hmm. uh, it makes the issues real. More and more people are going to know someone who's LGBTQ. More and more people are going are to claim that allyship. They're going to stand up and they're going to speak out.